Okay, this is a simple video on how to tin your RGB strips by cutting them up and putting new leads on. Okay, as you can see, I've already removed the outer insulation by the rubber just with a Stanley knife, and that leaves me the copper pads exposed. Get my soldering on, get a bit of solder on it, quickly tab each one, and the solder goes quite willingly on each one. Okay, that's that section done. Now we need to get the wire. The wire is just as quick. We get our wire. I like to twist the ends of the wire before I tin them. I don't know why, it's just an old habit I've got. Put them back in the claws. And all I do is just tin them as well. I normally cut excess off on the wires, mainly because you can always never have too much. Then I just cut the amount I want off the wires, because you don't need them extra long, probably about yay long. And put that back in my claw again. And it's a simple matter of touching the wires on each pad. Bang. It's as simple as that. And we just go along for each of the wires, for the red, green, blue in this case. There's that one done. Sometimes it gets a little bit fiddly. And then there's that one done. And I'm just leaving the ground at the moment free. But that's how quickly and simple it is to tin your um, connections on the ribbon, or the strip. You tin your uh, leads, and then it's just a simple matter of applying a little bit of solder and soldering it up. And anybody that's using a temperature controlled soldering iron, I'm actually doing this at 380 degrees. I've been told this is a bit cold, but I find it works ideal with strips. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.